What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video. Uh, first thing I want to say is I apologise for uh, my voice. I come down with a bit of a cold, which I'm still trying to shake off at the moment. So yeah, apologies for the uh, scratchy voice. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today was I got uh, hold of a uh, new piece of hardware. This is an Amiga 500. And uh, well, it's an old piece of hardware, but uh, I've had Amigas before as, as mentioned. But uh, I specifically was pursuing an Amiga 500 because I ended up getting one of these bad boys right here. This is the Individual Computers ACA 500 Accelerator. And uh, what this does is basically it's an accelerator for your Amiga 500 that will plug into the side uh, expansion port or the Zorro port. And uh, by itself, it gives you the ability um, to have two compact flash devices. The first one is what's called a boot card where uh, it'll be an Amiga formatted uh, compact flash card that will boot into your workbench. Um, the second one is an auxiliary port which allows you to um, use PC formatted as well as Amiga formatted. And uh, you can actually boot from that, that device as well. There's really no difference, but um, the, the good news about this port here is it's hot swappable so you can actually plug in your uh, compact flash card uh, into uh, into the uh, port there it'll pick it up in the uh, workbench and they can pull it out you can and uh, and so on and so forth and that uh, it's very very handy for moving files back and forth without having to reboot the system over and over again um, it doesn't work the hot swappable functionality doesn't work with all compact flash cards but it certainly works with the ones I've tested them on. The only one that doesn't work with is, uh, you know, mind you, I'm having issues with this uh, anyway, uh, just with regular Amiga stuff is a 16 gigabyte SanDisk, but uh, these kind of generic one gig, two gig, four gig cards, um, you know, the Chinese ones, they, they, they work fine um, from what I've experienced. So in any case, um, oh, and the third thing I want to mention was uh, it has kickstart 3.1 and 1.3 on board so you can actually toggle between both of those at boot time very very handy for uh, game compatibility and stuff like that and finally the, the, the thing that's probably the most appealing is that it has a trapdoor expansion uh, connector here for an A1200 so you can take A1200 accelerators and plug it in on top here. Now again, it doesn't work with everything, but it does work with all individual computers A1200 expansions. That includes the uh, 020 range and the 030 range. Uh, and I actually have one here, and this is the A1232. This is the uh, 030 accelerator clocked at 50, uh, at, sorry, at 40 megahertz. Um, and uh, this, this works fine. I'll, I'll illustrate how that, that works here in a minute. Um, so very, very desirable piece of kit. Very cheap. It only costs $90 from a mega kit. Um, and uh, it's basically bringing the A500 back in the forefront of, of you know, of, of, of Amigas. And, you know, a lot of people argue that's where it should be. And, and at the moment, I'm having so much fun uh, just messing around with this stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's been totally awesome. Um, I will say this. Uh, the price of Amiga 500s has skyrocketed in the last uh, few months. So, you know, if you are interested in, in, in getting a setup like this or an A500 again, um, first of all, don't think that you can just pick one up for like 20 bucks uh, unless you, you know, you find a deal on Craigslist or a thrift shop. Uh, people are going to start gouging you a little bit which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, it's just the way it goes. Um, kind of like when the Everdrives came out for the uh, Turbo Graphics PC Engine, uh, things just started uh, increasing in price. Very, very similar to the uh, to the, this thing here. Um, but anyway, I've kind of rambled enough about that. So uh, let me show you uh, how this all works. So um, I've currently got uh, the Compact Flash uh, booted into Workbench here. Uh, but let me uh, turn the uh, the power off and show you how this works while the, uh, the thing's been cycled. So I'm just going to put the camera down here and uh, switch my power supply off. I'm going to do a, a cold restart here. So the first time you turn the, the unit on, 
uh, you'll get this menu here. This is the ACA 500 menu. Uh, and basically, uh, you got different options here, but basically what you can do is boot into a fast memory. Um, you know, the two compact flash ports and the ability to add uh, A1200 expansions uh, on, on the top there. So uh, let me show you this. And uh, this is a an OCS A500 with only 512 megabytes of ki uh, chip RAM. But as you can see, it's picked up the uh, the expansion there. So we've got one megabyte of, of fast. Let me uh, run sysinfo. And uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty nippy little uh, device uh, just on its own. Uh, you can tell there's the 68000s had a bit of a, a, a boost. Let's uh, run the uh, sysinfo. And uh, let's do a speed calculation. All right, now the first thing to note is the CPU is at 14 megahertz there, which is which is correct. Uh, and if I expand this, um, basically what we're seeing here is we're 2.72 times as fast as an A600 without any fast memory, of course. But we're we're double the speed of a a, 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 a 2000, and um, we're a little bit faster than an A1200. Um, we're at uh, 1.86 times the chip speed or the chip RAM speed of uh, an A600, and uh, we're, we're going at uh, 1.5 MIPS, which is uh, again, you know, as mentioned, it's a it's a pretty uh, it's not significant, but it's a little kick in the pants uh, for your 68000. Uh, it will certainly help with some of those games that kind of chug along a little bit. Um, so that in itself is uh, is very very cool. Now the next thing to show you guys is uh, the hot swappable functionality. If you take uh, another compact flash card and put it in the uh, the auxiliary port here, popped it in there. There you go. It's uh, it's flashing amber, and um, it should uh, pick it up here. There it is. There's my uh, my work disk um, with all my files on there. And uh, again, you know, if I if I pull this out, that will go away. Let's close that. It should go away. It may be locked. Actually, there it goes. It's it's gone. It's just a little bit slow, I guess, because it's sixty eight thousand. Um, look, um, so yeah. makes me feel like there's a lot of power uh, running it, you know, and, and stuff like that. So. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, if, if there is a nice uh, case solution that comes out for it, I, I may uh, end up getting one. But uh, obviously, ventilation and cooling and heat is uh, is of a, is of an issue as well. Um, but in any case, we've uh, hooked up the A1230 030 expansion accelerator. Uh, that also comes with 128 megabytes of fast memory. So we've got a bunch more memory and uh, a faster CPU. So let's uh, turn the power on. And uh, we're back at the uh, ACA 500 menu here, and then uh, let's boot up. And this should boot up a lot faster now. There you go, we're, we're in. And uh, that's kind of 030 speeds, a lot faster. And as you can see, we've got the 132 megabytes, so it's added the 128 plus the, the 1 meg. Um, from the uh, expansion itself, uh, and if we run that sysinfo again, oops, press the wrong thing. That's the classic workbench screen. System, hardware, here we go. Uh, it, as you can already tell, it's uh, picked up the O30 CPU, and uh, let's do a speed check. Should be a lot faster now. There you go. We're at uh, we're almost at nine MIPS now. I can't I can't actually get that to nine MIPS. Uh, there's some tweaks we can use. Uh, you know, move Kickstart into uh, uh, use ACA Tune, which is a, a resident program that will um, map the ROM uh, into fast memory. Will basically give us almost another thousand dry stones uh, and over nine nine MIPS. Uh, but you know, either way, uh, this is. A pretty fast little uh, setup now, which is uh, totally awesome. And uh, 
this really opens up um, the door for WHD load and stuff like that. Um, and this one is no exception. I certainly recommend this if you are a A500 owner. There's our work disc again. Just wanted to show you that again. So yeah, guys, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, I'm going to have some more fun playing with the, uh, the Amiga 500 and uh, get some games going on this thing with WHD load. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.